Hey guys, what's up? And in this series, I will be teaching you how to make your very own simulator game on Roblox Studio. So let's get started. So first, we're going to want to go into server script service over here, which runs server scripts, and we're going to insert our script. And go under it, and let's name it leader stats, in lowercase. Now we can go and start writing our script. So you're going to write game dot players dot player added connect function parentheses player in lowercase and then just hit an arrow key and then enter and then end should pop up. Now we'll do local stats which is a instant instance which will create something new dot new and then here we write what type of instance we want. So here it'll be an int value. Now we're gonna wanna name that int value. So we'll do stats dot name equal to um, quotes leader stats. Now again enter now we're going to set its parent which will be stats dot parent is equal to player now let's skip two lines or one line let's do local so this will be whatever you click to get and then you can later sell it for money so to keep things simple i'll be doing like a strength simulator kind of like weightlifting simulator so do local strength keep it in lowercase and then do equal to instance oh yeah and by the way this is not an int value i messed that up so go back and make sure to change this to folder you want this to be a folder now this is what's going to be the int value which here and then int value now we'll do and i can see i spelled strength wrong yeah, so make sure to check your spelling mistakes and stuff since that'll show up on the leaderboards. Now I'll do strength dot name. This is what will show up on the leaderboard. So we can just capital write it, rewrite it, but capitalize so it looks nice. And now we can do strength dot value, which is how much you start with, which will be zero. Then Wait, strength dot parent and the parent will be stats now an easier now we're gonna rewrite the same thing except with cache so we're gonna do local cache is equal to instance dot new parentheses int value go down cache dot name is equal to cache capitalized and we're going to do this again cash dot value how much you start with is equal to zero unless you want your players to start with a bit and we'll do cash dot parent is equal to stats just like strength so now we're done with our leader stats and make sure to save this to roblox so you don't lose your progress we can close this out here and let's go and play the game so now once this loads you'll be able to see instead of the normal leaderboard now in this corner it says strength and cash and how much we have which is currently zero of each and if you caught my spelling mistake I spelled it wrong in the corner again so here fixed now if you had any spelling mistakes just save them fix it and now we're gonna make a dumbbell or a weight, which is actually gonna allow us to be able to earn a strength, which I'll make a shop later and a sell part, which will be in a future episode. So you're gonna put in a dummy just so we can scale this and it's not and to make sure everything's not too big or too small. Make sure whatever you're making, whatever your tool is, is gonna be not anchored. And it will just be like 
Otherwise, your character will get stuck and won't be able to move. So you can scale this, build it how, make it however you want. So I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make a nice and tiny one. But you can color it. I'll do like a dark gray, and then now. Uh, so I have no idea why those attachments pop up. You can ignore them. They sometimes happen. It's just a weird Roblox thing. And now let me make the ends of the dumbbell. So let me go here and make these. This is obviously not the best because I did this pretty quickly, but you can go as detailed as you want on these models for these tools. So keep this here, duplicate it. Now you can get rid of your dummy now. And now you need to make sure before you do anything else to name whatever the handle, whatever they're going to hold it by is named handle with a capital H. Without that, the script just won't work. So that's very important. Now we're going to want to go into starter pack. Let's insert our tool and we can name this whatever we want. So I'm going to name this um, dumbbell. So now, so now we're going to take these parts, you can just select them like that, and drag them under the dumbbell. They should disappear. And now we're going to create a way so when you click, it's going to give you some money. So now, let's go under workspace and insert a script. And let's name it main event. main event and now under main event we're gonna want to make sure to add a remote event which is triggered every time you click so we're gonna do a remote event and we can just add name this add strength so add add strength easy now we're gonna write the script for to give you more strength when you click. So for this, we're going to write script dot parent or no, not script dot parent, script dot add add strength dot on server event connect parentheses will show up function a second parenthesis player and then hit enter and an end should pop up now we're gonna write player dot leader stats leader stats won't immediately pop up but just write the whole thing dot strength dot strength dot value make sure to spell it right that's important is equal to write the same thing again player dot leader stats dot strength make sure to spell it right otherwise it won't work dot strength dot value plus one and the one should be another color otherwise you wouldn't have written it right the space doesn't really matter, I'm just going to remove it. And that's the give script. But the thing is, it, this is not going to work until it is actually called when you click something. So we're going to want to save this and close it out. Now, we're going to want to go under our dumbbell and insert a local script. So for our local script, we're going to name this add strength. Strength, the same thing as our remote event. Yeah, so this is going to actually call the event. So first we're going to put local cooldown 
equal to false. Skip a line, and now we're going to do script dot parent dot activated connect function, and then parentheses, and then hit enter, and an end should pop up. Now we're going to do if cooldown equal to equal to because it's an if then statement false then cooldown so go up again cooldown is equal to true so basically what we did here is we create a variable called cooldown it's saying is if cooldown is equal to false and you click then we're going to have the cooldown happen again and then once it's back to false. So now we're going to actually write the thing which calls the event, which will be game dot workspace dot main event dot add strength um, print colon fire server, which is going to fire the event and then go down a line. Now we're going to do script dot parent dot enabled equal to false which will be our cooldown and now we can add a delay of however long you want so for me i'm gonna put a one second delay you can make this however much you want this delay and we're gonna do script dot parent dot enabled equal to true which is gonna make it happen again and cooldown is equal to false equal to false so now you can click off and save as always and now we can play the game and see so currently in the corner we have zero strength and zero cash so now if I equip this dumbbell by just pressing one which I have. I forgot to weld the sides of it, so it's not going to attach. So you want to make sure to weld all the parts together. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Now if I click, in the corner I get one strength. And I can't spam it. Like Right now I'm spamming my mouse. There's a second delay in between each time I get it. Like, And that delay you can increase as much as you want. So now I'm going to click stop. And just to um, weld it, which is pretty important. You can just take these, put them back into workspace so you can see them. And now you want to go to model. So here you're going to do create. You're going to do create weld. Now take your handle and then select this. And then you're going to do it for the other side too. So that's not a weld, but here weld. Click this and weld it together. So now you can select these, drag them back into your dumbbell. And now if we test it, the whole thing should show up. So let's wait for a bit. And now we have our whole dumbbell. We can click, we can move around with it. And now we get strength. So that's it for this video. And hope you guys enjoyed. I will be having more parts of the series coming out very soon. Bye-bye.